Hello everyone, I'm Chris Erickley and welcome to your Wednesday edition of the P.E. Crime Blotter. Day two of the murder trial of a 12-year-old boy who shot and killed his neo-Nazi father here in Riverside at Point Blank Range. This occurred back in May of 2011. John Asbury here with the Press Enterprise was in court. John, day two, they actually played the video of the police interview that the boy did right after the murder. Right, and this video it was very telling about who this child is. Um, it's so easy to forget in this case that you're actually dealing with a child. Here was, a, at the time, a 10-year-old boy, and he methodically explained how he walked downstairs, um, grabbing the gun from his mother's bedroom, and then shooting his father from a foot away, and then going to bed um, almost scared of what he had just done. And he actually said that part of the way that he plotted this came from a TV show. Well, that's, that's going to be uh, argued throughout this case, is that uh, throughout this case, they've been asking how long he had been planning this, and that's going to go to the prosecution's key point of, was this premeditated murder? Um, his sister testified today that he had told her about four days before the killing that he planned to shoot his dad, and then also he had mentioned that an episode of the television show Criminal Minds, he had seen where an abusive father had been shot by a child, and the child didn't get arrested, got away, and everything pretty much had a happy ending. And then the little sister also previously had said that the stepmom told her brother to, to kill the father and later said today that she lied about that. Sure, and that's been one uh, point the defense has been pushing is that um, seven months after he was arrested, he said that his stepmother had persuaded him in uh, killing his father, but the daughter, his biological sister, came forward and said actually that wasn't, a lot, wasn't true. And now over the next couple days, what can we expect? Um, there are going to be a couple psychiatrists in court the next couple days discussing the child's mindset and his competency based on what he understands of the case. And then the defense starts next week. We could see the child take the stand next week. All right, John, thanks for joining us. Be sure to keep us updated as things progress. That does it for our Wednesday edition of the P.E. Crime Blotter. Be sure to stay tuned right here on P.E.com for the latest on this story.